just y'all took a huge lead right from the jump. Just how were you able to kind of get, get off to such a fast start, particularly considering Giannis and Chris weren't available tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, we, it was really on the defensive end. Uh, it's a lot easier to score on offense when you're getting stops and running off of misses. Um, you know, I think they had four, six points, something like that, with five minutes to go, four minutes to go in the first quarter. So um, defense like that will, will get you a lead for sure. Without As, uh, Giannis and Chris, do you see – oh, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> uh, without Giannis and Chris, do you see a different mentality in Drew kind of take – going into takeover mode down the stretch? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's different. I think he I, don't, I think he has it all the time. I mean, uh, there have been games, even with Giannis and Chris in there, where Drew hits a big shot. He's had a game winner this year with them both in the game. Um, but he's definitely in that position more, I think, when they're not in there. Obviously, the ball is going to be in his hands. Um, but, I mean, every time Drew takes a shot in the fourth quarter, I expect it to go in. Has his uh, shooting surprised you from, like, coming in? You hear so much about how much of a good defender and such he is, and obviously played against him. But, you know, the way his offensive game has been this year, has it been, like, anything about it taking, taking it back? Um, no, I, it hasn't been a surprise to me. Um, Drew was one of those guys when I first came to the league that um, – I didn't. I didn't know how good he was, just because nobody really talks about Drew, and they didn't talk about Drew a few years ago. I feel like it took him to win a championship for people to start talking about how good Drew really is. Um, so the first time I saw him play when I was a rookie, I mean, he's hitting left hand floaters, step backs, and he looks like he's not even sweating, like he's not even trying out there. Um, so I knew how good he was from when he killed us from me watching on the bench my rookie year. Um, so n nothing he really does offensively surprised me. Uh, I'm going to give you another one. Uh, can you talk about his step back a little bit? I feel like it's just one of the more ridiculous moves, like how much space he's able to create. And uh, I mean, just in general, how comfortable he is with it. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a few different ways that he, he gets to it. Um, you know, he's got one where he kind of does the run away. Uh, and on that one, he just he creates a crazy amount of space, and he's almost running uh, like away from the basket, and then turning around and shooting it. Um, but he's, I mean, every shot that he takes, it looks so in control and so balanced, even though he just ran five feet away from the basket and turned around and shot it. Um, and it's a pretty crazy thing. He he always seems to be in control offensively, no matter what move he makes, and that's why those step backs kind of look so effortless for him. Uh, I, I guess I'll ask about another one of your teammates. Pat's come off a surgery on his shooting hand. I mean, just shooting the ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just for you, both of you guys can really shoot it. You both are always working on, like, your release and, you know, kind of doing all those things. What have you seen from him? I know he's throwing in some, like, catch-high key pies in there. Like, he, he's it, – it seems impossible that off of hand surgery on your shooting hand you could shoot the ball this well, this quickly. Yeah, he's got that uh, bionic hand or whatever that – what's that baseball movie? That's what he has. Um, yeah, I mean, he's been he's been shooting the ball really well. Uh, obviously, none of the confidence has left him. He's not worried about the hand at all, which is awesome to see. And, um, you know, he, he loves – he loves, he works on the catch high, keep it high a lot, and he, he loves pointing out when he does that too, so – uh, that's a that's a really tough shot for a shooter to shoot it like that with no dip, not loading the ball at all. Um, but it's uh, it's huge when he hits shots like that. I mean, he's a floor spacer. Um, you know, when me and him are both on the floor, both floor spacers, hopefully giving space to the other guys. Um, and if we're not giving them space, hopefully we're there knocking down shots. And um, he's done an amazing job since he's got back, and he's he's getting them up at a high rate too, which is awesome. Back here, Grayson. Obviously, you all will want and will have Giannis and Chris down the stretch, but, but how beneficial is it when it seems like you had a stretch where you scored a few in a row? Drew obviously did it. Uh, Serge did it. Javon did it. How, how beneficial is that uh, coming down the stretch here of the regular season? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we have a lot of guys on this team that are really confident in themselves, no matter if it's uh, when Drew and Chris are back. Obviously, a lot of stuff has run through them, but, you know, that that confidence doesn't leave us, and I'm saying us, including all the other guys on the roster. Um, and I think that's huge for our team because there's going to be moments where you're you're called upon, where you're needed to get a bucket, where you're needed to knock down a shot. 
um, and nights like this when guys are out kind of uh, kind of shows that. And then what do you think is the biggest change in the last like maybe three weeks or so for the team where you guys have been a little more consistent and, and um, kind of picking up these wins as you, as you close out the regular season? Uh, it's just, I think it's just things starting to click. Um, you know, it kind of feels like we are at that point where we've had most of the team healthy except for Brooke and together for a while and then Brooke comes back and so everyone's starting to click together with our full full roster healthy, full full roster of guys. So um, I think we're all clicking, we're all enjoying playing with each other, we're feeding off of each other, other's energy and um, I, I personally think the team is excited to to finish the stretch of the regular season strong and get to the playoffs. So I think that all plays a role in that. Thank you.